Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. In the previous episode, we already learned about how to use a contextual action mode with an individual Android view component. Now in this episode, we are going to learn about how to use the contextual action mode with the list of items like a list to view or a grid to view. So here we have a list view is available. So whenever user make a long press on any of these list view item, we have to display the contextual action bar. So here I am going to demonstrate how to display a contextual action bar for this list view and how to delete multiple items from this list view using the contextual action bar. So if you want to display the contextual action mode for a list view you have to you have to do two step the first step is the you have to set some choice mode for the list view you have to set the choice mode into choice mode multiple model and you have to implement an interface called multi choice mode listener so if you implement the multi choice mode listener for a list view that particular interface will give you all the callback method for displaying a contextual action mode so the first thing we have to add some menu we have to create a menu xml file so go to the uh, menu folder right click the menu folder and create a new menu resource file and here i name it as my menu and click OK. So for adding the menu items, we need some icons. So here I am going to add two icons. The first icon is for delete option and the second icon is for share option. So I copy these two icons and paste it in the drawable folder. Put the two icons in the drawable MTPI folder. Okay, now we have the two icons available on the drawable folder. Now we can add the items. So here I am going to add the first item. First, you have to provide an ID for this item using Android ID attribute. I name it as ID delete. Now you have to set some title for this item using title attribute. It is delete. Okay. And finally you have to set some icon for this item. Icon is available on the drawable folder and the icon name is IC Action Discard. Okay, now here I am going to add one more item. So copy this one. Change the ID into ID share. Change the title into share. Also change the icon name. The icon is IC action share. Okay, now we have the menu XML file. Now go to the main activity.java file. So here is the list view object. Here the adapter name is adapter and here the data provider is a list is an array list called the data provider. Okay. So for displaying a contextual action mode for a list view, first you have to set the choice mode for the list view. So list view dot set choice mode. and set the choice mode as choice mode multiple model this one abs list view dot choice mode multiple model use this one okay now we have to implement the multi choice mode listener for this list view so list view dot set multi choice mode listener So this interface give you all the callback methods for creating the contextual action mode. Here is the on create action mode method and here is on prepare action mode and here is on action item click and final one is on destroy action mode. 
Also, we need we get another method called on item checked state change. This method will invoke each time when user select or unselect an item on the list view. Okay. So now we have to create the contextual action mode on the list view. So you can create the contextual action mode on this method called on create action mode. So, so for inflating that particular menu XML file, we need an object of menu inflator. I name it as menu inflator and get menu inflator. Okay, now using the menu inflator object and call the inflate object inflate method. First, you have to specify the menu XML file r dot menu dot. Our XML file name is my menu. And the second argument is the menu object. So pass the menu object and return true. So now when user make a long press on any of the list item, the contextual action mode will appear. And the contextual action bar contains two options. First one is the delete and second one is the share icon. So we can check it out. Now I am going to run the application. Okay, now here I am going to make a long press on, on any of these list items. So I make a long press. Now here we have the contextual action mode that contain two items, the delete option and the share option. So you can close this contextual action mode by selecting this option, this bike button or you can you can hide the contextual action mode by simply press the bike button available on your device. Okay, so now we have to delete some list of items from this list view using the contextual action mode. So user can select multiple items and whenever user select the delete option, we have to delete the selected items. Okay, that is the, and the that is our target. So now we have to save the selections. So for saving the selections, here I am going to add another another list I name it as selections equal to new array list so whenever user select an item this method will invoke on item checked state change this method will invoke and here there are some arguments called action mode object, position, and long ID and a boolean. If the if the option is selected for the first time, this boolean will true, and if the user unselect the item, this will be false. Okay, so if the user select the item, we have to save that particular item into this array list called uh, selections. Okay. So we have to check it out if that particular option is selected that means the boolean is true if it is true we have to save the selections so selections dot add and we have to get the item from the array list called the data provider so data provider dot get and use the position argument Okay, so if the user select an item, that particular item is saved into this array list called the selections. Okay, also we have to set some title on this contextual action bar. If the user select an item, we have to uh, we have to put some title called one item is selected or two item is selected like that. So for making for counting the selections, we have to declare another variable here. So here I am going to declare another variable int count equal to zero. Okay. So whenever user select an item, we have to increment the value of count by one. Count plus plus. And if in the case of user unselect that particular item, that means user untick that item, we have to remove that particular item from the selections from the array list called the selections so else selections dot remove 
data provider dot get position okay in that case that particular item is removed from the uh, from the array list called the selections okay also in that case we have to decrement the count by one count minus minus okay so if user select an item we have to set the title into if the user select for the first time we have to set the title into one selected and if the user select another item we have to set the title into two item is selected okay so for that we can use that object called the action mode so by using the action mode object we can set the title mode dot set title first we have to display the count so count selected okay and if the user uncheck an item we have to decrement the count and we have to change the title into uh, that particular number of item is actually selected okay so after user select an item uh, if the user user may press the back button or user may un, us, user may close the action mode in that case we have to reset that particular two variables we have to reset the values available on the variable called the count also we have to remove all the variables all the values available on this array list called the selections that is the next step so if whenever each time when you close the contextual action bar this method will invoke on destroy action mode this method will invoke so here we have to reset the variable count into zero also we have to clear that particular array list okay so after making the selection user want to delete that particular item so if user select an option from the action mode this method will invoke on action i action item click this method will invoke so here we have to make the delete operation so first we have to find out which option is actually selected by the user we can find it out using the menu item object so if the item dot get item id equal to r dot id dot if it is equal to delete button in that case we have to delete that particular selected items from the list array list called the data provider actually the array list data provider will provide the data for this list view so we have to delete the selected item from the array list called the data provider so in that case we have to remove all the items from the data provider so here i use a for each loop so here I use objects it's a string value string item and here the array list is selections yeah this is not possible instead of string here I use object okay so now we have to remove each item from the data provider so before I have to get the string from the object item string item equal to item dot to string convert that one into string now we have to remove this string from the array list called the selections sorry data provider so data provider dot remove that particular object name is item okay so now all the selected items are removed from the array list called the data provider so now the data set is actually changed now we have to inform the array adapters that there is some data changes occur so adapter call the method called adapter dot notify data set change this will recreate the list view again okay so after finishing all these things we have to close the action mode 
so mod dot finish okay okay now we can check the project so now I am going to run the application again okay now we have the application available on the virtual device now I make a long press on an item now you can see here on the contextual action mode the title is one item is selected actually we select the first item of course you have to highlight the selected item by changing the background color or you can use a checkbox with this list of items so here we don't have a checkbox or we are not put any code to highlight the selected items okay anyway here I select the first item cupcake now I select the second item donut so here now the title is two item is selected now I make another selection eclair so now the three item is selected so now I am going to unselect an item from this list so here I am going to uncheck the donut so now only two item is selected so now I am going to delete these two items cupcake and eclair because the, these two items are now selected so select the delete button there is some errors on our code we have to check it out yeah this is mistake because we put these two statement on the for each loop that's why the error is occurred so I remove these two segments and put it outside the for each loop also we have to return true here okay we can check it out check it out again run the application again okay so here I am going to make a long press now the action mode is appear one item is selected now I select the second item two item is selected select the third item three item is selected so now I select the first four items now I sell unselect the last item I uncheck the last item now only three item is selected now click the delete button now you can see that three item is removed from the list view so now I am going to make the I'm going to select the last two items so one item is selected now the last item is selected now I make under selection now I select jelly bean also now I remove jelly bean now only two item is selected which is Kit Kat and lollipop now click the delete button now you can see that particular two item is removed from the list view I hope you enjoy this video if you are a new visitor for my channel please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates on my Android tutorial series thank you for watching see you in the next episode